A big step last week on the replacement of the Cape Cod bridges. Another billion dollars coming from Washington to finally get the Sagamore under construction. They still need about two billion for the born. Is there a big risk here, Rob, with a second Trump presidency that all that money is going to dry up for blue states like Massachusetts? No, transportation is one of the few issues that is still bipartisan. If Trump gets in, he's not going to mess around with it. It's part of the economy, bridges, roads, we have to have them. Marianne? I disagree. Donald Trump denied blue states and blue governors and threatened a red, you know, a Charlie Baker without giving him any money for COVID and a million people died. So, of course, he would hold out on a bridge for Massachusetts any day. All right, let's wrap things up with best week, worst week. I don't know how you narrow it down, <laughs> Rob. We'll start with you. <laughs> well, I actually thought it was pretty easy because my worst week goes to Senator Bob Menendez of mm -hmm. New Jersey. Convicted this week of bribery, including taking gold bars and Mercedes and acting as a foreign agent, and he won't resign. Uh, but it'll be hard to be a U.S. senator from prison. Marianne. Worst week, MAGA immigration uh, rhetoric at the convention. Trump and his supporters waving mass deportation, uh, mass deportation now signs. Promise to deport 10 million migrants if he returns to the White House. Detention camps, family separation, demeaning roundups, all of it. Un-American, but on full display at the Republican convention. Will we have a different Democratic ticket when, this, uh, when he sits down at this table in a week? I think so. I agree. All right. A lot of news still to come in this race. Thank you for making us a part of your weekend. Don't forget, every Sunday, we go on the record.